Welcome to my channel, I'm going to talk about stablecoin in this video. Stablecoins are digital currency platforms that aim to keep the value of their underlying assets stable. This ensures that users don't experience fluctuations in the value of their holdings, which can be a major problem for cryptocurrencies with deflationary properties. Let's take a look at what a stablecoin is and why they're so important for the future of money. What is a stablecoin? A stablecoin is a cryptocurrency that attempts to keep the price stable. This is achieved by pegging the coin's value to another asset, like gold or fiat currency. The idea behind stablecoins is that their inherent properties will allow them to become a store of value and medium of exchange in the future. Stablecoins are a unique asset class that's expected to play a major role in the future of Bitcoin and blockchain technology. Traditional cryptocurrencies can be incredibly volatile, which makes them difficult to use. Stablecoins are designed to reduce volatility by pegging their value to an asset. This allows them to be used as a medium of exchange and store of value. How does a stablecoin work? Stablecoins are assets with a dollar value backed by collateral. The collateral, i.e. the assets that backs up the stablecoin, is used to monitor the coin's price. If the price gets too high or too low, the value of the stablecoin is manually adjusted to keep it at the dollar rate. The most common form of stablecoins is fiat collateralized, meaning that the stablecoins are backed by government-issued currencies. There are a few different types of stablecoins on the market. The most common types are wrapping, holding assets that are pegged to another currency like gold or silver is a common way to create a stablecoin. With this method, the stablecoin is wrapped by the underlying assets. Bridging. This method uses multiple stablecoin protocols to create a network of cross-collateralized assets. Users can exchange their stablecoins for other tokens in the network to keep their value stable. Anchoring, stablecoins can also be pegged by something other than a government currency. This is known as an anchor token and is commonly used as a way to stabilize a coin. Pros of stablecoins. Lower volatility rates, the majority of stablecoins are pegged by fiat currency, so they'll experience less volatility. This makes them a better store of value for investors and less risky for potential investors. Better for trading, since stablecoins are less volatile, they're easier to trade with. Users can exchange the coins for fiat currency whenever they want, which makes them a great option for traders. More accessible to the general public, volatility is one of the biggest problems facing cryptocurrencies today. Stablecoins solve this issue and make cryptocurrency more accessible to the general public. Cons of stablecoins. Less decentralized, the entire appeal of blockchain technology is decentralization. Centralized stablecoins, like Tether and USDC, go against this principle. No transparency. One of the main issues with Tether is that there's been very little transparency. No one has been able to view the company's bank account, which has led to a lot of speculation about fraud. Trustworthy. Trustworthy stablecoins that are 100% backed by fiat currency don't exist. The current methods for creating them are centralized and don't provide transparency for investors. Types of stablecoins. Wrapping, bridging and anchoring. There are three different ways to create a stablecoin. Each one has its own pros and cons and the best way to create a stablecoin will depend on the project. Wrapping. Holding assets that are pegged to another currency like gold or silver is a common way to create a stablecoin. With this method, the stablecoin is wrapped by the underlying assets. Bridging. This method uses multiple stablecoin protocols to create a network of cross-collateralized assets. Users can exchange their stablecoins for other tokens in the network to keep their value stable. Anchoring, stablecoins can also be pegged by something other than a government currency. This is known as an anchor token and is commonly used as a way to stabilize a coin. Final words. Stablecoins are an important part of the future of crypto. They help solve issues with volatility and make crypto more accessible to the public. The best stablecoins use a combination of multiple methods to keep their value constant. Stablecoins are still a growing asset class and many of them were created in response to the issues surrounding Tether. As the industry grows, we'll hopefully see more companies create stablecoins that are trustworthy and transparent. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and click the notification button.